The Spectacles by Lou Rera He waited until nightfall for the best atmosphere for the photos. He owned a fog machine from a Halloween party he'd thrown a few years ago. Tonight, he'll haze up the living room to make it look all the creepier. The eyeglasses were dirty and the lenses needed to be cleaned. But Nathan knew better than to clean them. A pair of glasses owned by serial killer Joel Rifkin would be filthy, possibly with a few of his prints. He thought, too bad there isn't a speck of blood from one of his victims on the glasses. Wow, that would make them out of this world valuable. Slowly, he slipped on the eyeglasses. He adjusted the fit, using his index finger to push the frames up onto the bridge of his nose. He blinked a couple of times, then opened his eyes wide. His vision swam in blurred images from the prescription lenses. Everything was out of focus. Some of his skewed vision must have been caused by the smudges of finger grease on the lenses. He was wondering about those fingerprints when he heard a woman moan from behind him. He whipped around to see who was there, and when he spun back, he saw a blurry vision of a headless woman sitting on the ottoman in front of his leather chair. There was no blood, no gore, except for the fact she had no head. He could see the red cavity with whitish areas toward the back where the bone would be. She appeared nicely dressed, short skirt, legs crossed as she bounced her forward leg up and down. The back of her shoe hung off her heel, and the front kept dangling off of her toes. From her demeanor, she seemed to be waiting. He expected her to be chomping on gum, but her head was gone. When she spoke, the sound of her voice came from behind him. <laughs> 